With me in the studio is Dr. Birger Lühr from the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam. He's an expert on earthquake risk assessment and early warning systems. Now, the report just showed us that animal behavior might be related to earthquakes. What do you think? Is there a chance to really predict earthquakes by studying ants? Uh, we know there are many examples that after an event, animals have shown an animal behavior. Sure. But in before, therefore, we have to understand exactly the behavior of such kind of creatures. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a problem, the same problem more or less uh, with the earthquake it's itself. Mm -hmm. The earth is a highly complicated, complex system. And our knowledge is up to now is too low that we can make predictions. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we concentrate more on risk minimization and hazard assessment. Mm -hmm. But let's look at, at, at the prediction just a little while, because the ants actually react to gas and they react yeah. to the warmth. Are there any physical parameters that really change before an earthquake comes? What they do, uh, and, and what is obviously, is that they can find the active fault zones. Yeah. Okay, this is the first step, that I learned something about the fault system and which fault is active. Yeah, that means which uh, may cause an earthquake. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this is not enough. Ne? What uh, re the the music plays in, you can say eight, ten kilometer depths. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn something about, or to know something about the stress built up in eight, nine, ten kilometer depths, and then this information has to come to the surface, mm -hmm. and this makes it really difficult. And you don't believe that animals have some kind of hidden senses? so they might detect something that happens 10 kilometers below the ground? I, uh, I know that, of course, animals are just in contact with uh, research uh, yeah, is dealing, investigating the behavior of mm -hmm. bees, and also it's um, amazing what uh, bees can yeah. do. But nevertheless, uh, uh, I, at the moment, I have problems that we can solve this uh, with one animal or one, uh, one system. So mm. our uh, idea is, because of the complexity, is uh, to work in a multi-parameter uh, mm. observatory or with multi-parameter observatories, um, parameters which uh, should be physically independent mm. from each other. And this is more or less the way we are going. But up to now, we have uh, no uh, idea how we can solve this problem. I understand. The damages which occur after earthquakes actually vary widely. We have a few pictures from yeah. Haiti with uh, almost 200,000 dead. Um, even though scientists actually knew an earthquake would take place at some point. So why were so many killed? This is a question of preparation. And uh, when we compare, for instance, the earthquake uh, in 1995 in Japan, Kobe, it's, uh, it was a little bit stronger, but uh, population density and mechanism of the earthquake is uh, similar. There we have had 5,000 uh, victims, and here we have more than 200,000. So they in were Japan, prepared. We know that they are starting in the schools to make uh, the mm. people aware of the problem, uh, to uh, learn about what can happen and also their constructions. They improve uh, more and more the building of houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, this information, of course, is free for everyone in the world. But Haiti seems to be an example that uh, they, were, they were not able uh, to, to prepare themselves mm -hmm. in a way that uh, they could uh, reduce these enormous amount of, of victims. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Leo.